What is up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being supped. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this conversation. You know, I I heard about this stuff that was going on when it comes to Larry Reed and I was going to talk about this a few days ago, but I'm actually glad that I waited because I was listening to an interview on the official King Payne's YouTube channel with one of Larry Reed of the Larry Reed Live YouTube channels, one of his, what he called, secret lover. Secret lover. (laughs) Sorry. I could not resist that but I'm going to put the link to the full video in the description box so that you can check it out but again like I said I'm glad that I waited before talking about this because this was from last week because just recently here a guy came out to drop receipts screenshots of text messages pictures like he went in on Larry Reed. And this guy, his YouTube channel is Safe Space with V. Terrell Hill. Now, I'm going to put the full video in the description box, but the video title is Disruptive Truth, Silencing the Lies, Larry Reed Live. And I listened to the entirety of it. I took a few notes, but I want to play a little clip. But before I play that clip, I just want to say that None of this stuff is shocking to me because something about him, my my discernment of spirits, I just feel that he was a grifter that was using his experience, if you will, in the community of Christendom, Christianity, formerly having a church, formerly being a pastor of an actual church, and... Also singing, which in my personal opinion, I felt like with his singing, everyone has the right to their opinion. But I feel that a lot of times he was really enjoying exposing people in the Christian community who were singers because I felt like there was some envy and jealousy there because these people actually made it and got some sort of success in their singing careers in gospel that he did not ever get personal opinion and also grifting off of a lot of people i was about to say a word but i'm not going to say that i take that back but taking advantage if you will of people who are pretty much weak in mind heart and spirit and are easily influenced and fall for the okie doke and so thereby creating this monster like this guy v Terrell hill said psychopath this is what he called him and i'm going to put the full link again in the description box if you have not seen his video but he went in and i feel larry reed has been able to grift off of a lot of people because he so-called created this this church online church and then with the situation that happened a couple of years ago with the C word that hit the world and how a lot of churches were shutting down, closing their doors. People weren't returning to churches and different things like that. I feel like he, with the assistance of, I'm just going to be honest, with the assistance of Bishop Bernard Jordan, who calls himself a prophet, utilized that opportunity to really build and grow his Patreon and people, quote unquote, sowing seeds into his ministry. So again, before I play this clip, I want to preface it because I, with that being said, all of the things that I said, I will admit that I once in a while would watch some of the videos and it had to be about somebody that I really wanted to know like what was going on versus me just watching his content because I was interested in him and what he had to share. And I, and I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't into that. But when he, around the time of the C word in 2021, was really going live a lot with Bishop Bernard Jordan, 
I was interested and I can't remember specifically what it was that they were talking about that was only going to be on the Patreon. And I just was interested and I really wanted to know, like, what was it going to be talking about? So I just paid my little money for that one month just to catch and see what was going on. But I unsubscribed. I did not stay subscribed to his Patreon, did not continue to give to his ministry, if you want to call it that. But I want to share something with you all before I play this clip, because again, none of this stuff surprises me about him. All right, because I've done some previous commentary talking about him. I talked about one of my video podcasts. I said, is Larry Reed a victim of Tasha Kay's wrath? And in the description, I said, Larry Reed has been speaking a lot more about Tasha Kay than the accusers. And I just don't feel like he's a victim for, of Tasha Kay. But he is using the fact that people dislike her and believe she's a liar, that he can gain their favor and not giving into the allegations by his accuser that she interviewed. Now, this was regarding when Tasha Kay did her Triple P or PPP series, Pastor Pimp or Pedo. <laughs> and it was when she interviewed this guy who said he was a victim of Larry Reed and his name was Levantre. Okay. So that was one of them. Another one that I did that was regarding Bishop Lamar Whitehead, his lawsuit that he filed against Tasha K, which I haven't heard about that in a little minute. And, and I talked about how Bishop Lamar Whitehead is mad now, but when Tasha K was exposing the things regarding Larry Reed and his accuser, he was all gung ho to be on his team, on her team, I should say, and wanted to join her lives and all of the different things that he was doing. So I just didn't understand the lawsuit. So again, that was a little bit of commentary about that. Now in December, the end of December, I did some commentary, I did a podcast video where I discussed Manasseh Jordan claims didn't say a name, but Larry Reed says it was T.D. Jakes. And I say he was accused of similar claims that he denies. And I thought it was weird because he was just going on and on and on about T.D. Jakes. And what did T.D. Jakes do to allegedly this guy, Manasseh Jordan, and he was doing all of this commentary and talking about all this stuff. And I just felt like he's, in my personal opinion, talking more about this than Manasseh Jordan is. So did this really happen? And what is beneficial for you in the situation to be talking about this? All right. Then another one I did last month, Larry Reed limits comments on TikTok videos about Manasseh and T.D. Jakes. And Manasseh hasn't confirmed Larry's news. Now, someone on that commentary that I did, they commented in the comment section that Manasseh actually did come out and say his name. I didn't hear that, but that's what someone said that they heard him say. At any rate, <laughs> that was another one. And then the final one that I did last month was the thing that most aren't saying about Larry Reed. And actually, this wasn't last month. This was last year. Forgive me. And I talked about Larry Reed's accuser has had an interview with Tasha Kay and his mom about the allocations. And I have so much to say, but I wanted to talk about it and talk about the thing that most people aren't saying about Larry Reed where the accusations are concerned. Now, if you want to listen to that commentary, if you haven't, you can find that on my playlist under the podversations, but I digress. Before I play this little clip, I also wanted to read this email that I had received from them. This was in October of 2023. Now, mind you, like I said, I signed up for the Patreon in 2021. I don't remember what month it was, but it was only for a month and I unsubscribed. I believe I got other emails from them or his team, but I just didn't pay them any attention. But I wanted to read this one because I guess they were looking for more people to start donating to this so-called ministry. 
So this was October 15th, 2023. We miss you at Larry Reed Live Patreon. Come back to our exclusive perks. We hope this message finds you well. We've noticed that it's been some time <laughs> since you were a part of our Larry Reed Live Patreon community. Yeah, you bet. It's been a long time. It's only It only was for a month and I never I left and never came back. But continuing, and we genuinely miss your participation. I never participated. You missed my money. Anyway, we understand that circumstances can change, but we want you to know that our doors are always open to you. As part of our community, you had exclusive access to a wealth of resources, teachings, and connections. Here's a reminder of the fantastic benefits you once enjoyed and could regain. One, master level teaching and coaching. Our weekly sessions with Dr. Reed, <laughs> yeah, they got to put the doctor on there, include the Reformation Prayer, Prophecy, and Coaching Call every Sunday and the quote breakdown every Wednesday. So, so maybe the breakdown is like Bible study, but they call it the breakdown. I don't know. Anyway, another. Number two, divine partnerships and networking. The opportunity to create and maintain invaluable connections with our welcoming and supportive community. Number three, exclusive content. Access to our expansive range of daily posts covering topics from prophecy. I'm sorry, I'm laughing. And health to the stock market and education. That's, I believe that's why I signed up because they were talking about they had these exclusive stock picks or whatever. And I just was interested to see what they were going to be saying. So I did sign up for that. But like I said, I signed up for a month and I unsubscribed. And finally, number four, community challenges. Participation in initiatives like the Build Your Immune System Health and Wellness Lifestyle Challenge and the Financial Wellness Lifestyle Plan for More Rounded Well-Being. If you have chosen to cancel your membership due to a billing issue or any other concern, we'd love to hear from you and work through it. Our team at the MBN Network Help Desk is willing to assist you with any issues or questions you might have. Remember, our community is all about growing and thriving together. We believe you have much to gain from rejoining and even more to contribute. We invite you to consider returning to the Larry Reed Live Patreon community and continue your journey with us. Listen, it sounds good and all of that. I mean, in terms of whoever wrote it up, it sounds like they're, they specialize in sales. Because if you don't know much about this dude, then you might fall for that and say, oh, you know what? That sounds good to me. I think I'm going to go ahead and sign back up. But not interested, not over here. So again, I wanted to just start and preface this before I get into this clip, because all of this stuff that's coming out now, it just does not surprise me one bit. So Terrell Hill, he said he was in a relationship with Larry from 2003 to 2018, and he thought he was the only one. So I will say this, the guy to me, it sounds like he was covering for him for many years, even after he said, like he said, he chose to cut off the relationship that he was having with Larry Reed. But it's possible, my personal opinion, it's possible that he may have been getting paid to stay silent and maybe something happened and he didn't get his money like he was supposed to and now he's exposing it all I don't know but something had to have happened in my personal opinion for him to come out swinging like this if he hadn't been in a relationship with this man since 2018 and mind you he said he was in a relationship with him while he was married to a woman meaning Larry was married to a woman okay he said he had sexual relations with many other men meaning Larry did he said he has receipts and he saw things with his own eyes. He said that, and this is so disgusting. You just have, if you want to hear that, because listen, your ears may not be able to take it or, or your stomach, but Larry, he played the clip. Okay. So he has audio receipts. Okay. He said to the guy, you took my, we'll say his swimmers in his 
ASS for many years, so my spirit is in you. That's audio of what Larry Reed said to him. Disgusting. Gross. He said that his his main man, Shamako, is his boyfriend. And he moved into Larry's house. Larry would have... Um, he would have the opportunity to go to these gay meetup spots. He would have threesomes and foursomes and fivesomes. Listen, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to listen to and take in. And for me, I could do without the visuals, but none of it surprises me. Because if you are someone that has listened to any of his, if you've listened to any of his commentary, if you want to call it that, a lot of times he'll tell on himself. There is audio of him saying that he has sucked a D before and someone sucked his D before and just a lot of different things that he has said. Now, listen, mind you, this is not me shaming anyone that is in that life and whatever. I don't even want to go too deep into that. But what I'm saying is, he knows that the majority of the people, to be honest with you, the majority of people that follow Larry Reed are messy, okay? So let's just be clear about that. So we're not saying that any upstanding Christ-like individual to, is really following Larry Reed. They're following Larry Reed for the mess, period. So we'll just go ahead and put that out there. But some of them, they definitely are not okay with someone that they would call a leader spiritually actually being gay so a lot of times he speaks about things as if it was his past he's had those experiences before but it's not his current life right now and he's banking and benefiting off of a lot of these women more so and so with that being said I want to play this clip because (laughs) let's just go ahead and get into it tell the truth you kept a 13-year sexual relationship with me. You enjoyed it. You wanted it. And when I didn't want to give it to you, you demanded it. You like men more than you like women. Stop playing with these people. It's the fact that you have done stories on Brian Carn, E. Dewey Smith, Matthew Stevenson, Jamal Bryan, James Hall. I got to eat that one, too. Some of these people we did stories together on. Daryl Walls and countless others, while you are way more sinister and dark and deviant and ugly on the inside than they will ever be. This whole idea of the platform being about women and kids. How is that when the woman in your life, you've mistreated ever since I've known you and her. And those kids you deal with when you want to deal with them. You all have been lied to. Oh, how can I forget T.D. Jakes? For peace sakes. Manasseh Jordan. If you are truly, truly trying to wave a banner of integrity or truth, discard your partnership with Larry Reed immediately or everyone that watches this, mark him as a false prophet. All right, you heard that, right? (laughs) And, And I really wanted to play that part, that part of it. It's deep. It's a lot. But I really, for myself here, wanted to play that clip because that's the gist of what I have been trying to say as of recent when it comes to Larry Reed, Manasseh Jordan, and T.D. Jakes and the swallowed up and all of the different, you know, things that have been going on where Larry Reed hypocritically was sitting up on his platform talking about Vanessa Jordan being a victim of T.D. Jakes and calling out his name. But if anybody comes out and says anything about Larry Reed, they're a liar. They're jealous. They're trying to get back at him for something or what they're mad or they're, they're jealous of what he has and whatnot. And it's like, 
who is Larry Reed to be jealous of? The nigga always is wearing sunglasses and the, you know, in on the inside of buildings all of the time. Like you hardly ever see his eyes. To me, that showcases to me somebody that's hiding something. Unless you're Stevie Wonder, you know? And him consistently going off and sharing stories about people who are in the Christian community because he claims that that's where his expertise is and that's his experience. But yet you're living this type of lifestyle and you want to say, oh, because I'm single, I can do whatever I want. Nah, not really. If you're supposed to be a leader of a church, especially, you're called higher. And there's just some things that you're not supposed to be doing. But yet and still, this is the type of stuff that he's been doing for years covering up relate the relations with men him trying to set up people to marry a woman for the optics and for possible citizenship and all of this other stuff it's just it's just a lot of weirdness and a lot of <laughs> a, a, a lot a lot a lot a lot of dirt and dece- deceitfulness going on behind closed doors and people are funding this. I don't know what his money's looking like from YouTube, none of my business. I really don't care. But when you have the balls to create what you want to call an online church and you have these people sewing their money into your vision and then you're taking men on ship trips and shopping sprees and and all of the other things that you're doing and funding their lifestyles, which I'm quite sure if the quote unquote church knew what you were doing with their money, they would not be happy with it and would stop it immediately. But to me, it just sounds like a scheme because he I'm I'm sure that he has a 501c3. So the money that he's getting, he can profit off of it tax free. You, you, You get my drift with that, right? And it's it's just extremely shameful. And when the situation happened with Bishop Lamar Whitehead and his church was supposedly robbed and Larry Reed was making fun of the situation, whatever. And a lot of people were laughing at it. Not Don't get me wrong, but I never sided with him in that situation. Not that I'm saying I sided with Bishop Lamar Whitehead, but I actually was laughing when Bishop Lamar was call, <laughs> calling them names and he like he called them out and he also, when they were going back and forth, Larry Reed was talking about, you're mad because my car and my diamonds and my this and my that. And people who follow him and they're giving their money to this man, like, you're okay with that? But listen, that's why the Bible talks about silly women. When the Bible speaks about silly women, the silly women can be counted in the group of those women that are giving up their money to this quote-unquote ministry and the MBN network. But I digress. I just wanted to talk about this briefly, guys. We'll probably come back and talk about a bit more when it comes to this because it's, it's a whole lot of a whole lot of, and you know, I try my best not to linger too long on the topics that I talk about here, but I would really love to know what you guys think about this. I am quite sure Tasha K is going to be talking about this on the app tonight. So I definitely will be in attendance. Okay. So guys, thank you so much for liking and subscribing and sharing your thoughts. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye. Don't wanna talk, don't wanna see you